Group 10 Metals recently took a major step forward towards its vision of becoming a primary U.S. source of battery and platinum group metals, with its inaugural NI43101 mineral resource estimate, containing a total of over 2 million ounces palladium, platinum, rhodium, and gold, plus over 1 billion pounds of nickel, copper, and cobalt. Results from its 2021 drill campaign are pending and are expected to drive expansion of these initial resources. The Stillwater West project is located in a top-tier mining district in southern Montana, a resource-rich state with a long history of mining and oil and gas production that is seeing increasing interest from major mining companies. Their claims lie within the Stillwater Igneous Complex, which hosts three world-class mines on the highest grade major PGE deposit in the world and the largest outside of South Africa and Russia. Next to Sabanye Stillwater's producing JM Reef deposits, Group 10 Metals is the second largest landholder in the district. The Stillwater Igneous Complex is a 2.7 billion year old layered intrusive mafic ultramafic complex with a geology similar to South Africa's Bushveld Complex host to the largest reserves of platinum group elements in the world. The northern limb of the Bushveld complex, known as the Platte Reef, is also a major source of nickel and copper. In large bulk mining operations run by Anglo-American and Ivanhoe that are appropriate to the massive sulfide deposits that occur there. In total, the Platte Reef contains over 400 million ounces platinum group elements and gold, and tens of billions of pounds of nickel and copper. Stillwater West deposits lie in the lower portion of the layered stratigraphy in the peridotite zone of the Stillwater complex, where widths of bulk mineable Platte Reef style mineralization range from 10 to over 200 meters thick. The stratigraphy of layered magmatic systems demonstrates three mineralization types, which are evident in both the Bushveld and Stillwater complexes. High grade reef deposits, platinum group element enriched chromites, and bulk tonnage platinum group element nickel copper sulfide type deposits. Group 10's consolidated claim block and database is uniquely positioned to advance the Platte Reef in Montana model, recently defining five deposits that lie within strongly correlated and coincident soil geochemistry, chargeability, and conductivity anomalies. The 2020 Induced Polarization Survey highlighted very large sulfide targets across the project's core 9 km strike to 800 meters depth, which show a strong correlation with the 2021 resource models. This survey formed a key part of the newly developed predictive geologic model, which guided Group 10's 2020 drill campaign to some of the best intercepts ever seen in the district. The peridotite zone has shown to be highly prospective for precious and base metals in results to date, and is correlated to high-level, multi-kilometer scale anomalies in conductivity, chargeability, and soil geochemistry. The Iron Mountain target area is comprised of four distinct deposits. At the east end of the core project area, Iron Mountain Crescent is the smallest of the 2021 deposit models. However, it shows excellent expansion potential into adjacent areas. Guided by coincident anomalies and past drill results not included in the 2021 resource estimate, a long strike to the northwest, the Iron Mountain HGR deposit is the second largest to date. It is defined by 30 drill holes, including campaigns in the 1960s, 2000s, and by Group 10 in 2019. It is open at depth and laterally to the crescent and central target areas. Mineralization at Iron Mountain Central, one kilometer southwest of HGR, is defined by drilling from the 1960s to 2000 and is open at depth and laterally to the HGR and CZ target areas, a long strike within a multi-kilometer target area. The nearby Iron Mountain CZ deposit was explored by AMAX in the 1960s and 70s, including drilling that defined a zone of nickel copper sulfide mineralization. Results from Group 10's 2019 and 2020 drill campaigns returned Platte Reef style bulk mineralization running over several hundreds of meters in thickness, demonstrating some of the thickest mineralized intercepts and the highest grade thickness values ever recorded in the district. Nearly four kilometers west of CZ and over seven kilometers west of Crescent, Chrome Mountain hosts the largest resources in two distinct zones named DR and Hybrid. The area between DR and Hybrid was the focus of 2021 drilling at Chrome Mountain, with the objective of connecting the two zones and expanding on hole CM 2004, which returned high grade and high tenor nickel sulfide mineralization in the 2020 campaign. Group 10's work in consolidating the district and applying new geologic models has resulted in the definition of 157 megatons at 0.45% nickel equivalent, 
or 1.2 grams per tonne palladium equivalent for contained metal of over 1.1 billion pounds of battery metals, plus 2.4 million ounces of platinum group elements and gold within the 9-kilometer core of the Stillwater West property. Expansion of the inaugural resource estimates within the core of the project is targeted for 2022, based on pending results from the 2021 drill campaign. Visit Group 10 Metals for more information on Group 10's inaugural National Instrument 43101 Mineral Resource Estimate. Thank you for watching.